Okay, so one thing I just do not understand in life is these, like, unproven math theorems. You know, like, what are they? Like, what, how, I have so many questions. How does one make up a problem that no one else can solve? But so you want to know how we get unsolved, or at least unproven, math problems. Usually it's because we observe some sort of behavior in mathematics, some pattern. <laughs> but we can't prove that that pattern will always happen. Here's one called the Collett's Conjecture, otherwise known as 3x plus 1. If it's even, divide by 2. If it's odd, multiply it by 3 and add 1. And just keep doing it over and over again. It appears as if all values eventually reduce themselves to a looping pattern of 4 to 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 times 3 plus 1 is 4. The problem is, it only appears this way. Like if you plug in a number, the numbers that you plug in appear to do this, but we haven't tested every positive integer and we can't test every positive integer because there's infinitely many of them. So we would have to find some series of equations that proves that this happens for any possible value that you find. Otherwise, some massive number may, under this pattern, just shoot off to infinity and we don't know. Meanwhile, other mathematical concepts, like the Pythagorean Theorem, here's a visual proof by Euclid, probably the most famous one. This shows that this doesn't hold true for one value, it holds true for any value that you might put in there. And that is usually how you get these unsolved math problems. You see a mathematical behavior that seems to apply for most values, but you haven't yet been able to prove that it will happen for all values. And finding that proof would be solving the problem.